So what we look to do is to use biology to give us access to the same materials you could get from chemistry, but at a cheaper cost. We're working on engineering microbes to produce chemicals. My view is that we ought to be able to produce nearly any chemical we want using microbes. We're trying to get different labs to begin to build on each other's work and to be able to put together biological parts like Legos. It depends on us being able to engineer the chemistry inside those microbes to get them to do our bidding. Wouldn't it be great just to be able to put together a bunch of things and have them work inside a living cell? How do we educate the next generation of scientists and, and engineers to be able to think really critically about what it means to build a safe technology? Of all the different fields I've been in, it's the one which cherishes uh, collaboration, it has outreach to high school and, and undergraduates in the form of the iGEM competition. But it's more than just education. Anything that uses genetics, anything that uses advanced technology, bears a complicated, freighted history. And simply saying that, simply saying, yes, we know that and we attend to that, is one of the great strengths of having ethics be a part of the discourse of syndrome. Advancing a, a technology means not just advancing tools, but advancing the, the people and the type of responsible practices that make these technologies real and beneficial. We really grew from a collection of PIs into this community that then brought in industry uh, more and more significantly. They have uh, developed a much stronger uh, responsiveness to industry needs and input. I think that's been a very strong credit to the nature of uh, the Sinbert community. Applications of the technology could be the production of biofuels, the production of drugs like artemisinin, production of chemicals that we might otherwise derive from petroleum so that when we run out of petroleum reserves or at least out of good petroleum reserves, we can start making the very same chemicals from sugar. It really is a wide range of folks who are all working towards this common goal of making biology easier to engineer, but doing it a number of different ways. You could turn it around and ask, what can't you make with biology?